There were days of where I couldn't talk and couldn't function and my body was shaking and there was lots and lots of um, full-on experiences in order for the software to be dissolved. So, disinstall is a hard button. The, bingo. The, the disinstall yeah, button yeah. was hard to find. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. But would it have helped if there was a teacher or somebody that would be saying, giving hints and saying, sure, at, that's the way it is. Yeah, sure. at the time I, I used to crave to, to find something, some, a book, an advaita, but I didn't even know what the word advaita was. I didn't know such a thing as non-duality was a phrase. Do you know? Yeah. I had no words at all. Nothing. Uh, and just a sense of maybe, maybe the capacity, which is called mind, can understand this at some point, but I doubt it. And that's as much as I could do. I didn't know. Is it understandable? But actually, it's not understandable. In theory, it's understandable, but it's not. In truth, it's not. How, how can you tell mind, actually, you're, you're, you don't exist? Mind says, yeah, 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 fine. <laughs> Do you know? So, so when, when then I came here and I heard teachers talking and thought, oh, oh, th there's, there's another person who's, who's functioning in a physical body. And no, they're not a person. And no, it's clear, clear to them. I'm, I didn't go nuts after all. I didn't just lose my marbles, you know. <laughs> there's something else was going on. So to read Romana and read all this stuff was like, Oh my God, now, now, now a functioning can happen in this world. Now something can. Because there, 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 there is a role, because there are words that can be used to point towards that which you are, I am, towards that which is. And that's all we can do is point towards it. But God, I tell you, it was such a relief to, to be dragged here, mm -hmm. to, to actually find the words. I got caught in the New Age stuff for a long time. So I was into kind of working through dimensions and working with energy and maneuvering chakras and doing shamanic work. And I got stuck in that new age thing, which has no space for Advaita. It has no space because it's all about spiritual experiences and sorting out this and healing that and healing that and healing that. And gosh, we're not broken at all. We were never broken. And I knew that. And I was sitting over somebody's energy field, maneuvering chakras, you know, getting everything working and thinking temporary hit you know they're going to feel good for a while and then something else is going to come up what what to do you know what to do how can i say this is all a lot of rubbish <laughs> you know <laughs> you can't you're going to have no business <laughs> so oh, wow. you know so yeah so the new age thing it plays its role but it's very far from truth it's very far talk more about it you know because i mean you went one direction we're all a lot of us are trying to go in the other direction mm. Mm. Like trying to, you know, we have this concept and we're trying to attain it in a mm. way, attain and non attain it or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, my path always, even, even as a child, I experienced first and I found out the theory afterwards. It happened all of my life. Experience first and then I would read about it or I would find out about it or I would, something would click afterwards. Understanding would come after the experience, always. And, and, and that continued right till the end. So it's a pain in the ass, that period after experience and before a capacity to understand intellectually. You don't need to understand it intellectually, but there is a sense in mind that... It's an unease, right? I'm not clicking. Or Something's not clicking. Because another yeah, fear can come unease. in and say a fear of the unknown. So then you say, I'm going bonkers or something like that yeah 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 because you try to put explanations on top but i knew after years of of, of living that there's no point in me imagining what happened it's just going to come an explanation or an understanding is just going to come for what that experience that's a great was trust. yeah yeah that's really great i'm sure i had no option uh -huh. otherwise you just grapple through and you go into doubting mind and my god a doubting mind is really suffering place you know, doubting just leads to more doubting and uncertainty and you're on no solid ground at all. Could you function on some level before you yeah. had that inform, inform the mind, before you informed the mind? Yeah, on a limb. Absolutely on a limb. Yeah, just like something has to move through this because I have to clue what's going on. 
There are a lot uh, of those spaces. I've maybe four still, months. Was that months. when you were doing those uh, working shamanic and uh, a different kind of uh, energy yeah. work and so on? Yeah, there was a sense uh, with the shamanic stuff. There was I have to do this. I know it's harsh on my body. It's really rough. Like you're taking ayahuasca and you're vomiting for four hours solid. It's kind of rough on the body. And you know, bless my husband at the time would say, "Why are you doing this to yourself? Just, just, just why are you doing this to yourself?" And I'm like, "There's no logical reason. I have no reason to do it. I don't want to do it." But the eye that doesn't want to do it, something else is doing it. So there was always that sense of there's something else, there's something else moving it. And the eye is now not powerful enough to stop it. So then what do you do? You live on the limb and you just think this thing better knows something more than I do. <laughs> <laughs>